of your faith, rekindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us through the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in your consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have thou saved the glorified by numberless miracles, the blessed, the blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, granted all who devoutly implore her protection on earth, may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign to God forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who for accomplishment of your greatest works, have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the Immaculate Conception of your Mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Monterey, grant we beseech you that the fill with the light of humility we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection Lord, your assistance, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, and our Mother, penetrate us with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, that they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we now pray. You know, O oh Mary, how often our souls have been in the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity, obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin, and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to the blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, Keep us close to you in every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever and ever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. When our risen our Lord appeared to his disciples on Easter Sunday, he said, Peace be with you. We can be confident that he desires that same peace for all the members of his body, the church, and for the people of the entire world, especially during these difficult times. During this na national pandemic, we find ourselves grasping to hold on to something in our lives. We are separated from many of our family members and friends. We are unable to attend Mass and receive the Eucharist. Our favorite pastimes are deemed unsafe to enjoy with others. Financial pressures seem to be mounting. Many of us are experiencing feelings of isolation and even depression. 
depression. So in times like this, we need that peace of Christ to be with us. How do we obtain that peace? By turning to our Blessed Mother, Mother of the Church and Queen of Peace, who asks that she intercede for us with her son and for all those who are affected in any way by this pandemic. Certainly those who work in healthcare and are first responders who are affected more severely. But regardless of the degree that this pandemic has touched your lives, there is no time like the present to turn to the Blessed Mother and ask for her to come to our aid. On May 1st, the bishops of the United States and Canada decided to renew the consecration of our country and of ourselves to the Mother of God. We implore her maternal care for us, her children, and it's through the intercession of Mary to her son that our prayers are answered. Mary has appeared a number of times, always with a simple request, always to simple, ordinary people, asking them maybe to pray for the rosary, asking for a church to be built on a site, asking to people for people to wear the medal she so carefully instructed and designed which is so full of meaning and love, always promising to bring special graces to all those who listen to her. Tonight, we honor Mary, who gave us this gift of the miraculous medal. This medal is not a good luck charm, and in no way has superstitious powers attached to it. It is a sacramental approved by our Holy Church. It can be called a prayer in metal form and is used for the purpose of invoking that aid of the Mother of God. Mary designed this medal and sanctioned it devout use. The Church blesses it with solemn prayer and imposes it upon the shoulders of the wearers, who through Mary's promise will receive many great graces. Going back to my childhood, remembering many, many Mondays my family spent at the shrine on Shelton Avenue, there was always a story of how Mary and a miraculous medal came to all those who recognized the graces and power of wearing the medal can bring each and every one of us. So in keeping with this Novena tradition, I'd like to share with you another story. I chose the story of how the miraculous medal helped at Ground Zero, another time in our life that we were not prepared in many ways and yet many similar ways of what we are experiencing today and our need to turn to our Blessed Mother. We remember many of the events that took place on that fateful day of September 11, 2001. I'm sure many of us remember exactly where we were, exactly what we were doing when we first heard the horrific news. After the dust settled and people had given of hope of finding any more people alive. The next step was for the police and firemen to uncover the many bodies. The impact of Ground Zero made everyone join together. Those who could help joined in, and many risked their lives. Others frantically went to church to pray for those who lost their lives and those who were working so hard to help bring peace to those who had possibly lost a loved one. There was a priest there who came with a bag of miraculous medals, all tightly knotted into a ball, and itself. I was lucky to meet up with one of the workers who told me the story of his brother, a firefighter, who died to help the woman from the burning stairwell. The worker was in awe when he received the medal. He asked if he could pass it on to the firefighter's widow. Once I gave the first one away, in time all 30 of the medals were gone. A religious symbol, if it is a credible sign of a person's faith, can bring someone out of discouragement or isolation. Yet I had never experienced the emotional response that had occurred when the workers received the miraculous medal. Helmets and respirators came off, words ceased, and people started to pray. Some actually cried openly. These medals evoke thankfulness for having faith at this tough time.
The workers knew that the work they were doing was often smelly, tedious, and depressing. The medals gave them a personal reminder that they were not alone in their struggle. They also served as a tool to help bring others back to their faith that may have left it behind. This story is about a tragedy that happened over 19 years ago. Yet if you listen carefully, much of what the people experience there is happening every day today. As I said, we are all affected by this pandemic in some way. Yes, if we call upon our Blessed Mother to come to our aid, she will do so for all those who especially who are wearing her medal, special medal, and the prayers will be answered. She will give us the strength and hope we need to get through this very difficult time. So I ask all of you to wear this special gift for Mary. For those of you who may know people who are in health care or first responders, as well as anyone you know who may be having difficulty coping with these times, to pray to Mary, wear their medals in order to receive the special graces that she promises to all of us. There are thousands of stories that have surfaced over the years from those who profess their love and devotion to Our Lady and the Miraculous Medal. We all have our own life stories to share with others, but take the time to share this special gift of Mary and the graces that come with it to those who wear their medal. 9-11 was in one city, but affected the whole United States. The coronavirus has affected the whole world. So I beg you, please keep praying. May God bless you.